Not copyrighted. Not copyrighted. Do you want to get any of my video materials? They're not copyrighted. Not copyrighted. Okay, now Paul, Yeah. I will come back, maybe we need to sweeten the pot, none of the professors would debate, okay, uh, correct me. I'll, I'll, I'll come back, a year and a half ago we invited 146 professors to debate, uh, uh, four from four different departments to debate Dr. Woman, not, not simply one agreed okay. to do that. I will come back, and a, a professor that teaches here at Berkeley, sure. I will pay them $500 okay. to debate me on three simple conditions, and there could be 10 of them, okay, they split up to 500. Um, I get half the time, okay. we talk about one topic at a time, and anybody can videotape it and sell the tapes if they want. Three simple conditions. Thank you so much. We've got to get out of here. Thank you. Occidental College in Los Angeles. Well, what a wonderful opportunity for you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you know, Louis Farrakhan, uh, the speeches at Keene College, this is, um, this is a very, very, uh, it, with all of, the, all of this coming together, in, including Schindler's List, um, I'm going to tell you something you, don't, you already know. The Holocaust Museum declined to send someone here, and the Wiesenthal Center also declined. And I have to say, I, un I understand, that they don't want to honor this kind of presentation with their presence. You obviously don't so, think so. So what am I doing here? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I talked to many of the, my fellow Holocaust scholars, and uh, basically I publish a magazine called Skeptic, in addition to my doing my history stuff. And we, we investigate extraordinary claims, fringe groups, social movements, things like that. Right. And when we started doing the creationists, Scientologists, and so on, I noticed when we began to look into the Holocaust deniers that there was a pattern that I recognized. For example, David's footage, which is very interesting, and, and I've been on the phone all morning calling to ask answers to some of your questions. Yeah. And believe it or not, uh, Holocaust scholars have already been asking some of those questions, and they are trying to answer wait, them. Wait a minute, so you're saying... Uh, no, wait a minute, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Um, uh, uh, revising any uh -huh. historical event is, of course, yeah, what historians do. Uh, but, but one of the tactics that, the, that, that all of these fringe groups do to try to move into the mainstream is to focus on what we don't know about some particular subject and ignore all the evidence that we do have. For example, why do we have so, so many huge orders of Zyklon B? Why do we have, uh, for example, some of the, the, the poison gas yes. that was used? Why do we have, why do we have huge blowers to re-aerate the chambers if all you're doing is delousing um, clothing right. and mattresses? Talk about right. the, talk about them in one chamber. Talk about them in one crema. And and so and, and okay. Second strategy: you shift the burden of proof. Huh? Your mic's open, David. And incidentally, you were all alone without opposition in the first segment of this program. Now you're going to do this when he comes. Wait out. a minute. Let's go. Talking. Give him a shot. <laughs> Kent Hovind saying uh, it is a relatively young Earth, saying about 6,000 years. And Dr. Michael Shermer, if our panelists would come, this is Dr. Uh, Kent Hovind. If we can have uh, Kyle Frazier, if you'd come out and join us at this point, try and get our people out here. An old colleague of mine from PBS Days in Los Angeles, Dr. Michael Shermer. Michael, if you'll join us now as well. Well, my role is somewhat limited tonight, but I do have the most important duty of all. This is a cell phone. Turn yours off. Please. Now. Panelists agreed that I could do this. We like to know with whom we are conversing. But all of those of you who believe in God, however you understand that to mean, please stand up.
Those of you who denominate yourself as a Christian, please continue to stand. The rest, please. Sit. If you, if you are a Christian, remain standing. If you are a Christian who believes that the earth was created in the last 10,000 years or so, please remain standing. National Center for Science Education, who all of them refused to debate me two weeks ago when I was at Berkeley. 50 million years ago, uh, Adiocetus 25 million years ago, and modern beluga whales. Common descent, common anatomical structures. You can see the sequence. You can see how the structures change over time. And in fact, there's almost an embarrassment of riches. There are so many fossils. I'm, I'm just staggered that creationists hang on to this, show me just one transitional fossil. There are so many, it's just staggering. This is just a nice little picture of Stephen Jay Gould when he was a very young man at the Harvard Paleontological Collection. These are just fossils. This is just fossil mollusks, right? There's just drawer after drawer after drawer after drawer. Uh, last week, uh, two weeks ago, I was at Donald Johansson's lab at Arizona State University, the guy who discovered Lucy, I'll show you in a moment. He just had drawer after drawer after drawer of hominids, and we were laying them all out. I took my 12-year-old daughter so she could kind of see all the cool stuff and meet Lucy. She met Lucy. And um, <laughs> there she is. Not the Lucy. Yeah, the Lucy. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, and, and I just made a little joke. Yeah, but you don't have any transitional fossils. And, you know, we all had a good laugh because, you know, it's just table after table is just spread out with these things. There's so many, it's an embarrassment of riches. The, the, the sequence you usually get, and here's a, a problem that most that snakes today, into. as well as whales, show these vestigial legs. Thank you so much. I'd like to comment on several things uh, that he said. He mentioned there is uh, evidence for evolution from homology, from vestigial structures, the human eyes, a poor design. Uh, I can't, don't think I'll be able to cover all that, but you can get my video series on my website, drdino.com, and watch the whole thing. This textbook says the appendix is vestigial. This is ludicrous, okay? This is a lie. The appendix is not vestigial. You do need your appendix, okay? The appendix is part of your immune system. Uh, National Center for Science Education is funded by Andrew Carnegie's grant for He Loved the Evolution Theory. The National Center for Science Education, who all of them refused to debate me two weeks ago when I was at Berkeley. Um, they teach the people that cows may be whales, okay? So the people that are writing this in the textbooks are either ignorant of whale anatomy or they're lying trying to push their theory. I hope they're just ignorant. That we can fix. If they're lying, they ought to get a different job picking features or changing tires. They got no business taking tax dollars to lie to the kids coming through their class. So these bones resemble those of other mammals, but they're More seriously, what, why, why would I uh, de decline to debate with, with, with creationists? Would you, if you were a, um, a geographer, agree to have a debate with a flat earther? <laughs> there comes a point when you have to say you are, uh, by, by, by agreeing to appear on a platform with somebody like that, you are giving them status. If a real scientist appears on a, on a platform, uh, if, I say, a reproductive scientist appeared on a platform with an advocate of the stork theory of... <laughs> Thank you. Um, but I will, I will say this, that um, uh, I've never actually dared to use the formula that my colleague Robert May, Lord May, who is one of Britain's most... Dist actually, he's Australian, come to think of it. Um, uh, <laughs> most distinguished scientist, uh, he, he was the government uh, chief scientific advisor for a while and then president of the Royal Society. Um, what he says when he's asked to have a debate with a, with a creationist is, that would look great on your CV, not so good on mine. 